Welcome to Entrip, your journey into the wild, weird, and wonderful world of ants. Today, are you ready? An ant with grappling hooks on its back? Who is it? Why is there a hook on the back? Are they weapons, climbing tools, or just ant fashion accessories? What do you think? Ever seen a six-legged samurai in action? Don't blink. You're about to dive into the world of one of the strangest, coolest, most badass ants on the planet. Welcome back to Antric. This is a polyrachis and this is how much it costs. Hmm. Shipping's gonna take a while, so while we wait, let's build them a tank, shall we? Two thousand years later. Once it's dry, I'll smooth it out. The magic door opens dramatically. These little hook leg weirdos live in the forest, so I'm gonna make something forest wide. Hopefully, they feel at home in there. Is it foresty enough yet? Hmm, if I'm missing anything, y'all better tell me. The package has arrived, folks. And here comes our main character. Holly Rochus Bihamata, one of the most impressive ant species in Southeast Asia. A tiny but mighty warrior. I don't know why, but I just had to put gloves on for this one. With a shiny body like it just got polished with stainless steel cleaner, those sleek legs that pack a serious punch, and especially those hook-shaped thingies on its back that look like fishing hooks. Thank godness I had the brilliant idea to wear gloves. Wait, is that hair? If anyone knows, drop it in the comments and let me know. It's about 8 millimeters long. So how does it stack up against a ghost ant? What about a fire ant? An elephant? Where? That was the worker ant, but what about our queen? bigger, more majestic, and no hook. Now imagine if the queen did have a hook, what would she even use it for? And if they are in the same shot? But before we get to how they might actually use that hook, and now the main character steps through magic door. Eyes sharp, stride confident, radiating that mapping out the territory kind of vibe. Damn y'all, this place is gorgeous. Hem, the moss smells kind of fresh too. Not bad at all. On their backs, they've got little hooks. So does that mean they stick to magnets or what? Oh, got one. Wait, it just climbed on by itself. Their shells are made of chitin, a totally non-magnetic material dot. So if you're hoping to catch ants with a magnet, well, sorry to break it to you, but that's not gonna happen. Let's DIY a mini grappling hook. All you need is a paper clip. Bend it here, twist it there, Tada! The tiniest hook ever, Polly Rogers B. Hamada Cosplay Edition, is ready for action. Now for the big question, can we actually hook a real grappling hook warrior? A gentle flick of the hook. Oh, snap! It's out of there like a rocket, dodging, weaving, full-on ninja moves, evading the hook like it's trained for this. This fish is slippery. Wait for it, wait for it. Gotcha! Even if just for a split second, it was enough to make your heart skip a beat. What could be better than a little party after moving into a new home? Oh, I got snagged. That actually kinda hurt. Let me out! No wine, just roaches, fat worms, and since I'm sulking, a little honey, okay? Something is better than nothing. So sweet! Humans ain't bad after all! Come here, y'all! Food time! Save some for me! If Noah wants it, I'll take it! Wow, that went fast. Fine, I'll be generous and drop some more. Hurry up! The nectar's gonna run out! There it is! Baby! Let's go hunt for more snacks! Just passing through, don't mind me. With a hook like that on their back, 
What kind of edge do they have when facing an enemy? So here come the four challengers who will be facing them head on. Today, we bring you a creature of the night, armed with a deadly curved tail and claws sharp as razors. Welcome to Shadow Scorpion. You tiny creatures, tonight, you are mine. What? There's too many of you. Humans, let me out of here. Eh, sorry sirs, I was blind I swear. Please have mercy. Didn't even start, already over. Ace. And now, the ultimate challenge. A bearded dragon, sharp instincts, seasoned hunter, has entered the Hook Warrior's domain. Man, this place is nice. These ants are living the good life. Kinda wish I could live here too. So sleepy now. Ooh, I'm not eating those spiky bugs. No thanks. That Australian water dragon of ours seems quite docile, doesn't it? It looks so fierce. Now, say hello to the Toke Gecko. Let me out! I just wanna be alone! Wow, look at all that food! Kinda hungry! Let's see if there's a chunky one that fits my taste! Can't deny it, that gecko is such a pro hunter. Sneaking into the shadows, just patiently waiting for the perfect moment. Oh, what is that? And those spikes! This might be the first time we've seen a hunter skip a meal because it had too many spikes. So is the red knee tarantula really a match for polyrochus? Looks fierce, right? Bright colors, fuzzy legs. Wait, what's that? Something tiny, twitching. Probably just lunch out for a stroll. Why aren't they afraid of me? Oh my god, these guys have spikes. Yikes, Sam, there's a ton of them. Run quickly before they realize. Once again, Polly Rochus earns our respect. Scorpion ran off. Gecko gave up. Pogona threw in the towel and spider, so scared it bailed. So then who? Who dares to challenge the grappling hook warrior next? Or maybe an entire rival and colony. The heat is rising. The jungle holds its breath, waiting for the first strike of the next great battle. Life, death, and the raw instinct of the ant will be pushed to the limit, only on Andrek. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe so you never miss a single survival showdown. Check out this video for more, and I see you in the next one.